Prepare to be on the edge of your seat as we delve into the most spine-chilling Craigslist stories that will leave you questioning the safety of online transactions. From a sinister house with hidden secrets to a disturbing encounter with an unexpected visitor and a test drive turned nightmare, these shocking tales will make you think twice before scrolling through Craigslist again. Get ready for a roller coaster ride of fear and suspense in the most terrifying Craigslist stories you won't believe are real. Two years ago, when my PlayStation 4 stopped working, I decided to search on Craigslist for a good deal. Being a high school senior with limited funds, I didn't want to waste any time. Quickly found a listing in Texas and contacted the seller to check if it was still available. Surprisingly, I received the response within five minutes confirming its availability. Excitedly, I asked if I could purchase it later that day, and they agreed, suggesting I come around 8 p.m. Determined to get my hands on the PlayStation, I left around 7.30 p.m. Fortunately, the seller's location was just 15 minutes drive away, so I arrived early. As I pulled up to the house, I couldn't help but notice how unkempt and unpleasant it looked. The front yard was disgustingly overgrown grass, the driveway was filled with cracks, and one of the windows was covered with boards. The other windows were obstructed by thick blankets or similar coverings, preventing me from seeing inside. Although the neighborhood had a mix of nice homes, it wasn't the most appealing area. After sitting in my car for a while, I decided to inform the seller via text that I had arrived. In response, they informed me that the PlayStation was inside the house and instructed me to come in. As the sun set, I hesitated about entering the house alone. But as a 17-year-old, I pushed away my fear and proceeded. The blanket-covered windows moved, indicating someone saw me waiting in the car. I texted my presence, receiving a reply instructing me to come in. Opening the door cautiously, a musty smell engulfed me. Darkness filled the house, unsettling my senses. Contemplating whether to stay or go, a light flickered on the far end. I called out, met with silence. Venturing further, I found an empty, eerie house. Feeling it wasn't worth the risk, I decided to leave. As I reached for the door, I heard footsteps from another room. Without hesitation, I slammed the door, raced to my car, and fled. Later, I received a disapproving text from the man. I blocked the number, realizing eBay was a safer option for a PS4. We wanted to replace our old TV at home, so we decided to sell it. We listed it on Craigslist, and after a few days, a man named Charles responded to the ad, expressing interest in seeing the TV. We arranged a time, and Charles came to our house. He seemed like an ordinary guy and mentioned he worked for the city in construction. My dad and I welcomed him into our living room to showcase the TV. He appeared to really like it, leading us to believe he would purchase it. However, after some time, he suddenly changed his mind and decided not to buy it. It was disappointing, but we thought we would eventually find another buyer. Later that night, as I was in bed playing a game on my phone, I heard a scraping sound against my window. At first, I thought it might be a tree branch or a bug, but then I heard it again. The noise was loud enough to make me get up and check outside the window. However, I couldn't see anything, so I returned to bed. I continued using my phone for a while, but eventually, I grew tired. I turned off my phone, closed my eyes, and just as I was about to fall asleep, I heard a tapping sound. This time, it sounded different. I turned to face the other side, towards the window, and there, I caught a glimpse of what seemed to be the back of a man. It immediately struck struck me that it was Charles, the same man who had visited earlier. I quickly got up, walked to the window, but he had vanished. Concerned, I went to my parents' room, but they were already asleep. I contemplated waking up my dad, but I worried it might startle the man away. Regardless, I made sure all the doors in the house were securely locked before returning to my bedroom. Falling asleep became a challenge, but eventually, I managed to doze off. I was abruptly awakened in the middle of the night by a noise originating from my window once again. As I turned my gaze towards it, I saw a man halfway through, attempting to enter my room. Startled and terrified, I let out a high-pitched scream, almost resembling that of a little girl. The man quickly retreated and made his way back outside. My dad rushed into the room upon hearing my scream. Hastily, he approached the window, but the intruder had already fled once again. Unable to locate him outside, my dad promptly contacted the police to report the distressing incident. It was later discovered that the lock on my window was faulty, providing the intruder with an opportunity to gain access to my room. Even to this day, the memory of that event sends shivers down my spine.
Last summer, at the age of 19, I found myself in the market for a new car after my old one's transmission failed. Having had success with Craigslist before, I decided to explore the platform once again due to its reputation for offering competitive prices. Among the listings, I came across a reasonably priced 2013 Nissan Altima that piqued my interest. I contacted the seller, Brian and we scheduled a viewing for the next day, Friday evening. Using my dad's car, I arrived at Brian's house in a fairly average-looking neighborhood. Notifying him of my presence, I awaited his arrival. When Brian emerged, we exchanged greetings and he proceeded to introduce me to the car. During the next 15 minutes, I meticulously examined the vehicle inside and out. Brian then suggested taking it for a test drive, an offer to which I agreed. With Brian in the passenger seat, I started the car and we ventured into a bustling road. The car performed admirably, leading me to contemplate purchasing it. Throughout the drive, Brian engaged in extensive conversation which, although mildly annoying, I attributed to his talkative nature. After around 10 minutes, I expressed my intention to turn back. Surprisingly, Brian encouraged me to continue driving. Reluctantly, I obliged and extended the test drive. During the test drive, Brian instructed me to turn left, which I assumed was leading us back to his house. But then he told me to turn right, and I realized I had no clue where we were. Worried, I suggested we head back, since I was genuinely interested in buying the car. I confessed my confusion, and Brian offered to take over driving, citing the complex route. Reluctantly, I agreed, and we switched seats. Inside the car, I noticed Brian had locked the doors, which made me uneasy though I brushed it off as a habit. As we continued, my anxiety grew. I knew we should have reached his house by then. I asked about our location, but Brian remained silent. Another 10 minutes passed, intensifying my apprehension. Wanting to contact my mom, I attempted to use my phone, but Brian demanded I put it away. Refusing, I asked him where he was taking me. He made a move for my phone. I curled up, protecting it. He pulled over and I quickly reclined my seat, moving it to the back. Brian demanded my phone, claiming he wouldn't harm me if I complied. To my surprise, a truck pulled over behind us. A strong-looking man approached, asking if everything was okay. Seizing the chance, I spoke up, revealing the situation. The man asked Brian to step out, mentioning an exhaust problem. Brian complied and I swiftly escaped, seeking refuge in the man's truck. I asked for a ride and he agreed. Realizing he couldn't match the man's size, Brian fled in his car. I called the police and the man drove me back to my dad's car at Brian's place, where we met with the authorities. Although Brian had vanished, we provided them with his license plate and the Craigslist listing. Thankfully, they apprehended Brian a few days later. While I eventually got a new car, I now avoid inspecting vehicles alone. Thank you for joining us on this chilling journey through the darkest corners of Craigslist. If you've enjoyed these bone-chilling stories and want to stay up to date with more terrifying content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications.